Hey friendlies, it's Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. I have so much to tell you. <laughs> shot so much video yesterday and talked to myself all day talked to you guys actually inside my head uh, it was a really cool day yesterday I've been on the road what April May June July August for 16 months now and I'm just realizing how long it takes to shed every to all the habits I guess is the best way to put it all the habits and all the structure of a life that I lived for 48 years and it makes sense. You can't just embrace full freedom, I think, and really understand it overnight. I have 48 years of habit and structure and propaganda and expectations, and it's you can't just shed that overnight. So yesterday, I left the camp in an area that I had been at for, I think, 12 days, almost two weeks. I was really comfortable there, and it was really awesome. I got to get refreshed. I got a ton of work done, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm getting bored now. It's beautiful here, and I'm rested and relaxed, and, and got a lot of work done, and uh, time to move on. And my goal was to go a couple hours to another city and where there is a giant... A class B dealership and look at some class B's and I was like oh it's just a two-hour drive well I with Google navigation and not really planning because I really don't like to plan I ended up going <laughs> two hours out of my way to a camping world that was in the wrong city I got my city I didn't I wasn't sure which city was on the way because I didn't look at the map and so while I'm on route I'm like I'm like uh, navigate me to Camping World, thinking it was going to take me to the one along the way, but it didn't. It took me out of the way. Long story short, instead of a two-hour drive yesterday, I ended up driving for more than five hours. And I was like, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter. And it's just so hard for me to get used to that concept of it doesn't matter. Still, 16 months on the road, and I've mentioned this in other videos uh, when I was in Marble Canyon about learning to stop and appreciate and explore along the way. We're so conditioned to get to point A from to point A, point B. We have to have a plan. We have to have a mission that even now it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't have an appointment. Sure, I was thinking it would be cool to get down there on Wednesday, but if I get there on Thursday or Friday or Saturday or next month, it doesn't really matter. Along, I, I decided I was tired. It was like three or four o'clock, which is kind of a cutoff for me. I'm a morning person. I work, I get up at six, seven o'clock in the morning and I work straight through till 11 or 12. And then I relax for a while, go for a walk, work out, whatever, and then I work again a couple more hours in the afternoon um, and at night. But I'm really a morning person. Three o'clock, I'm done. I don't really feel like doing much else, and especially when I'm driving. So I was like, okay, I'm going to start looking for a place to camp. And I ended up exploring national forest roads and going up some pretty scary roads, looking for a campsite. I also needed to make a phone call, so I needed a, a cell signal, and I ended up going seven miles on a dirt road out and losing a cell signal, so I had to turn around and go back to make my phone call. <laughs> and then I went back to a boat ramp thinking I might be able to camp there, and I couldn't. It was small and icky, and uh, I ended up on a... Um, scenic drive in Cherokee National Forest along Okoe, Okoe River and there are picnic areas and I thought I might camp there overnight. You probably it was a day use area but there were no signs that said I couldn't camp there. So I stopped there thinking I'll spend the night here and uh, I had dinner, walked down, waited in the river for a while, let Capone cool off and sat for a while and relaxed and I realized the highway noise was too much. I would have been miserable. So I moved, decided it was 6.30. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. I'll just drive around, see what I can find. And I ended up here at a trailhead. And there are waterfalls, 1.7 miles up the trail. And so I'm going on my first hike in so long today. Unfortunately, my buddy can't go with me. Three and a half miles is just way too much for him. But this is why I haven't been on a real hike in a while. Because it's too, uh, it, the, you know, it's summer. I can't leave him in the rig alone for hours. But it's really cool today. It shouldn't be any more than two or three hours. It's just like leaving him at home. He'll 
they'll sleep on the bed the whole time I'm gone. It's nice and cool. And I, so I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to share that experience with you. For those of you who are thinking of a life of freedom, whatever that looks like, living in an RV, traveling the world or retiring, homesteading, getting a tiny home, whatever that looks like, it's going to take a while to shed the shackles of a life uh, that we were, that was beat into us, <laughs> really. Uh, and I am still just really, some days I have to pinch myself and realize the breadth of my freedom. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I drove two hours out of out of my way. What is out of my way? I said in a recent video too that you can't really get lost if you don't have any place to go. <laughs> and while I had a destination in mind, it doesn't matter. I have everything I need behind me. I have my work, I have my home, I have my beloved dog. I have everything I need behind me. So everything in between doesn't matter. And if I had gone straight from point A to point B, I would have never seen this. And I drove along a beautiful river. I got to stop and have dinner and wade in the river and see some national forests that I never would have seen and stop at a boat ramp and just get out of the rig and go wade in there for a while and talk to a little local kid with a beautiful, I love the Tennessee accent, with a beautiful Tennessee accent telling me about the strange bug. Be careful for that strange bug. I don't know what it. I, and I can't do the accent. You know, I butcher it. Oh, but he was adorable. Watch out! It looks like a, some kind of a weird wasp. He said, "Watch out! You don't want to get hurt." And he was just adorable. He and his dad were going kayaking, and these are the for me. These are the experiences that life is made of. These are the experiences that make all the little challenges worth it. I would have never seen this. And now, stay tuned, I'm taking you on the hike with me. Oh, I had so much yesterday. I almost wish, I, I mean, I, I make a lot of videos. A lot, a lot of them I don't post. I don't know how much is too much. Uh, so some of it is just about my experiences, not only being uh, an RVer, but as many of you know, being a YouTuber, which oftentimes, unfortunately, they, you know, the YouTube affects my RV life. And uh, that's something I have to think about. A couple people have asked me, is this really what you came out here for? And no, it's not. <laughs> I, I made a purpose. I made it a point of, of blocking drama out of my life. And here I am living in an RV um, and all this drama has entered my life. And uh, so these are things that, th that I think about as I'm driving. These are things I think about sharing with you. And then I have to think, well, how much is too much? Um, don't want to burn you out <laughs> sharing my drama with you. So anyway, want to go for a hike? I think we, I think we need this. <laughs> I know I need it. All right, I'm going to show you around. I know, puppy, huh? I wish I could take you. What do you see? What do you see? No. What do you see? So when we're out, I'm constantly paying attention to him for cues that he sees something that he might chase. And look at him. He's looking pretty intently at something. So I'm on full heightened alert about what might be out there. <clears throat> and when he was younger, I would have put him on a leash by now. But now that he's older, he doesn't see as well, he doesn't hear as well, and the chances that I'm going to see something before he does are, are pretty good. So, what do you see? Yeah, see, he's, he's relaxed now. There's nothing out there. Are you relaxed? What's out there? What do you see? And honestly, the last time he chased a deer or a squirrel, he chased it for like five feet. <laughs> he's old and smart now. He knows he can't catch it. And he just, you know, he doesn't have the motivation and the energy to chase stuff like he used to. He'd go off for days before. Oh, he got lost one time chasing a deer? Huh. You were gone for like two hours in a park in Fairfield. Rockville, Rock, Rock, what the heck was it? Rockville Hills Park? Yeah, he was just a puppy. We lost him for a couple hours. That was scary. So 
So I'm in Cherokee National Forest. And yeah, you see there are bears here. So that's what I'm on high alert for, bears. So I would turn down this road thinking I might go to the campground. And it's, it's a National Forest campground, so I have really no idea. And it's quite a ways up the road. And here are the trails, mountain bike trails and hiking trails. But I ended up just staying here for the night. You see somebody pulled in pretty early this morning, a biker. And uh, I, I was on my way to the campground and I saw this and I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you know, I would prefer not to stay in a campground. Look what I got. I got to camp here. It was beautiful, quiet. The other place uh, that I thought about, the, the picnic area, was way too loud. You can't see it, but the, there's a highway. I, I can't remember what it is. Right over on the other side of this hill. So it was so nice and quiet back here. Unlike the places I've been recently, no midnight traffic, which was nice. Two nights ago, I, I was parked near a, a shooting range, so I expected some shooting on the weekends, which I got, which scared the hell out of me a couple times. <laughs> My goodness, they were loud. But two nights ago, like midnight, one o'clock in the morning, I don't know what time it was, but it woke me from a deep sleep. People came to the firing range in the middle of the damn night. <laughs> oh my goodness. It just never fails. It never fails, huh, puppy? All right. I'm going to pack up, get hiking before the day gets on. It's only like 8 o'clock. So I want to get back before it gets too hot in the afternoon. Although it's, I think, I think the forecast is in the 70s today. Huh, puppy? I'm sorry I have to leave you. <laughs>